episode 77 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Now the last episode was an exciting one. I've realised just looking back at the thumbnails, I've done two Asman related thumbnails and titles in a row. We certainly didn't think he was going to play that big a role in this season, and the role he plays in this season will not get any smaller in today's episode, as we have a crucial game against the Aventus away. <laughs> oh my god. An away game against the Aventus with the Asman in goal that we need to win. Anything less than three points will surely see us crashing out of our group, whimpering out of the Champions League without so much of even a real fight. And that is not what we want. That is not what we want at all. But Butland is not going to be back for this next game. And that is less than ideal. So let's take a look at the size anyway. So there we are. Confirmation. Jack Butland still four days away from returning. I think he'll be back for the next game. So we've got the Asman in goal. But as Matios said in the Discord channel, uh, nobody can penetrate the ass man, and he was certainly unpenetrable. He was, uh, yeah, safe as safe as houses in the last episode. Was the ass man? He's going to need a big performance today, though, against Cristiano Ronaldo, Dybala. Jesus Christ, this side! Look at that back line. I mean, Maxi Romero, flashing blue arrow or not, is going to have a <laughs> really tough time today. And Joe Gomez on a downward arrow as well. That's not ideal really could do with Lukasen there. We could play Chidozi in the centre. We could play Lukasen in the centre. Nabri, probably a good time to bring Nabri in actually. So we're going to put Lukasen there. De Jong at defensive mid doesn't work so well, does it? It's not ideal at all, but maybe that's how we win this game. We just pass our way through everyone. We'll start Nabri then through the centre. Lukman on a downward arrow as well. The form's not there, the personnel's not there, the chances of us going through, very, very slim. But all we can do is try our best. Still in the, uh, sort of, maybe, in the running, maybe, for the Premier League. We're still in the FA Cup. Champions League looks to be done, but is that really a bad thing? We don't have the squad for it. That has become abundantly clear very, very quickly. Right, let's get into this then. So might as well get my excuses out early doors here. Not only have I been off for a while, apologies for the missed episodes, I wasn't feeling very well, I'm feeling much better now, thank you very much. But also, mere minutes before recording this episode, I had a bit of an altercation with a food blender, yep, and I just to cut open my game-playing finger, my game-playing thumb in fact, my right thumb. Uh, pretty bad cut in there as I was preparing a lovely marinade for some uh, pork tacos I'm going to be slow cooking tomorrow, which obviously I'm very excited about, but then as I was cleaning up, whoosh, 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 Cut through the right thumb, blood everywhere, so I've got it taped up. I've got a big plaster on that thumb, and uh, as any professional... <laughs> this isn't professional, Pez. But as any high level... As any Pez player at all will tell you, it's not optimum for this sort of game. <laughs> We've got injuries both in the game and in real life. Surely nothing less than an absolute battering is going to happen for Leeds now. Anything more would be quite incredible. Free kick here. Nabry's come short, that's smart. Nabry looking for Lookman. Oh, great effort. Clive can keep it alive. Sessignon, that's not the ball. Fucking hell. It was meant to be a cross. Massive chance there. Massive let off for Juve. Well, got the first chance of this game under our belts. Don't want to score too early, though. We don't want to anger them. <laughs> I feel like that could go badly wrong. Ah, oh, it's a very simple ball over the top into Dybala. Great first touch, and there's the finish. The Arsman had no chance. Well, Leeds. The first opportunity of the game. But we caught caught out here by the most basic of one-twos. Bernardo, you can't be going there. You've got to stay with the man. You can't blame the ass man for that. He's been penetrated early on. And a goal behind here, away from home. Champions League survival slipping away. Quick feet from Sessignon. Can he get a cross into the box? He can here. That's a good ball. Bonucci will head her away with ease. Nabry back into Lutman on the turn and flashes wide. Well, we can't say we haven't had chances. Sessignon really looked to craft that one. He had to work hard to get a ball into the box. Nabry, it's a smart header across. Lutman, though, just couldn't get it on target. He's on a downward arrow today. We're suffering from form as well as injuries. Showed there. Oh, De Jong's read that. He's away from Chan. Inside to Sessignon. Half nearly up here as Ryan Sessignon will bring it forward. There's blue shirts available here if he can find the right ball. That's a smart one into Nabry. 
Round the corner into Lutman. Surely! Yes! Perfect counter-attack there from Leeds United. And it all came from some very intelligent defensive play from Frankie de Jong. He read the short corner, got there ahead of his man. And then it was a flowing counter-attack from these exciting, fast-paced players that we have on show today. We've been more than a match from Juve today. We've certainly uh, come at us and we've returned fire just as well, if anything. We've had more chances, and uh, we've finally taken one. We've been missing one just a few moments before finishing that one off well. We've still got a chance here. It's a dangerous free kick here. There's three minutes left till the end of the half. It's going to be Pjanic to whip this one in to the far post. Bernardo heads away. It's going to be out to Emery Chan. Oh, De Jong can't win it back. Chan with the effort, Asman. First save from him. It's a solid one. And that will be half-time here, and we've given the old lady a run for their money. I'm pretty pleased with that performance. Let's take a look. Yep, stats back up how I'm feeling. We've had possession, we've had chances. We've made tackles. We've looked good. We've looked good. If we can keep it at one all till the end, maybe bring the horse on, we could have a chance. It's going to have to be hitting them on the break, though, because that back line, as soon as you get close to them, it's just bang. You've lost the ball. Easy as that. Right, come on. Let's dig deep. Corner here, looking for Chidozi on the near post. Little flick back. Cliver on the turn. Difficult angle. It was never going to work. Nice idea, though, the flick from Chidozi. Found the blue shirted player. Needed to take a touch there, really. Oh, Cancelo. Good ball in. Ronaldo. What a header away that was, whoever that was. And then Nabry and Lutman exchanged some decent passes there, and Nabry will find. Adamola Lutman through again. Into Maxi Romero. Through on goal. Surely. Oh, fucking Benucci. You Terminator. Bentacur lays it off. Oh, Bernardo does well. And Lucasen can clear. Romero, lovely flick. Brunetta looking for the pace of Lutman. He'll beat Sandro to this. No, he won't. Yes, he will. Oh, he somehow got it back. Looking for Romero. Benucci again. He is omnipotent. Chan out to Costa. Sessignon can't get across. Lucasen does well. But Ronaldo's won it back. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Lucasen's been so good throughout this game as well. And it's a defensive error there. Oh, won it back and then tried to turn. That was the big mistake. Asman tried to come for it. Whether that was the right choice or not. We were really pushing for the winner here. And we looked like we were going to come away with this with nothing. So, Cobos and Patterson coming on. That's not great, is it? But the horse, that's the one. And Patterson on a blue arrow. Can he maybe find the ball in that we need? Patterson. Into Maxi Romero. Oh, lovely ball. Can Patterson pick out the horse here at the near post? He's ahead of Chiellini. There he is. Get in there, the fucking big man. And that is some inspired substitutions from Marcelo Bielsa. Patterson down that right-hand side on a blue arrow. We knew he could whip a ball into the box. And the horse cantering forward. Fetlock's blowing in the wind. And then a powerful header. Back in this one. Suddenly, there's a glimmer of light. A ray of hope on the horizon. See Romero dropping a bit wider here to allow the horse space through the centre. Don't know what Cialini was attempting there. But he didn't know the horse was behind him. Dybala now. No, all the good work undone straight away. Not if the Arsman's got anything to do with it. Cessna, you had to fucking win that. Kobos, you had to win that. No. No. Why can't we just enjoy that Arsman header? Oh. Oh, we can almost not enjoy the Arsman save there. Cessna. Oh, for fuck's sake. Costa. Ronaldo. But <laughs> we had the break. The break was on. This ball here from Lukasen, criminally poor. I mean, actually, Sessignon should have got there, and then we'll know what happened next. Ah, oh, so many chances in this one. We just keep blowing it. Oh, no, Dybala's through here on the break. Hello, Dybala. The arse man's come out. Wow, great chat. Oh, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> oh, the most painful thing about this is I thought we were playing our way back into it, and actually we were playing well. That's just pure bad luck. The Arsenal had done well, but then it's that Bernardo again. Just couldn't react in time. Cannoned off him into the Juventus player. And any slim chance that we thought we had of getting the draw here is well over now. And that's it. That is it. God, we made that really hard for ourselves, didn't we? Actually, we were just as good a team on the day. 
It's just relentless, some of the attacking play from Juventus at times. I mean, look at that, very, very close. Very close. Couple of mistakes. Lukasen with the big mistake. That was a really poor one. Maxi Romero couldn't get involved at all. It's marked out of the game. We had to ship him out wide for him to even be involved. The horse came on, got the goal. We thought we had a chance. We didn't. More defensive errors. And that is our Champions League over. Done with. Well, it was exciting while it lasted. At least we could have got a draw. Maybe we could have got into the Europa League, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen either. That's three losses now. It's not good. Bollocks. Match day three. <sighs> So, we could. We could finish third. Seems unlikely. Scored three goals. We've lost three times. <sighs> Just not ready for this level yet, clearly. I don't remember how Leicester City did in the Champions League. Actually, they did all right, didn't they? After their crazy season. Oh, we're getting some nicknames in. I'm, I'm too angry to even look at them. Really don't care. We need to bounce back. We need a win against Chelsea. Butland is back. I mean, Asman didn't do a lot wrong in that game. He made a couple of saves. But really, he was putting the shit by his defence. Not a lot he could have done. So what have we done? We beat Bournemouth, of course, 9-0. We had lost before then. Ajax, Villa, how to Juve. And now we go into a ridiculous run of games. Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, Juve. Whew, right, I mean, I'm not feeling that confident at the moment. I don't quite know what we're doing wrong. Chelsea have Timo Werner. That does not bode well. So signed Romagnoli. Wow, they've got a really strong team here. It's worrying. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Bernardo on the downward. That's not what we needed. Uh, De Jong doesn't really work in that defensive midfield position, as we found out in the last game. We'll try to start Patterson. Much rather not start him. Chidozi can play as a centre-back. Should be okay. Everything else will keep as it is. <sighs> we need to bounce back here. Really need to bounce back. So we're back at Ellen Road. A little bit of a turbulent start to the season. I've actually forgotten where we are in the league, but we had an okay start. If we uh, come out of the next four games, three or four games, which are really, really tough games, with anything less than about six points, then I think that could be season over, possibly. I know it's hard to uh, comprehend that right now, but, I mean, what are we pushing for? Champions League, I guess. That's the goal. Let's just concentrate on that. It's a long season. Let's not try and overplay. Let's not be ridiculous. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's just play our football. We know we're good enough. Oh, no. Sesame on good tackle. It's away from Kovacic. Finds Maxi Romero, who's anonymous in the last game. Into Juan Brunetta. Oh, lovely skip away there. Into Maxi. That is exactly what we needed. That is the tonic the Leeds fans required today. Bit of Argentinian action. Lovely. I mean, just glides forward. That's what we need. We just need Juan to be confident. I think that's the thing. When I feel like Juan's on it, he'll try stuff like that. Make little touches away from players. We know his final ball's a good one. So I've just realised we're starting the arse man. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking there. I just got distracted. I have been ill recently. I don't know what the best option is to do here. But we scored again. So I guess we're just going to keep him in. <laughs> I bet I can only imagine how everyone at home was screaming at me there. Just scream. Put him in. You've not put him in. You've not. You've left the ass man in. Well, the ass man started four in a row. And, uh, yep. This is another one for him. But with two goals up here, he could make the sub. Probably wait and see how we get on. Zappa Costa's clearance. And he goes as far as, far as Ryan Sessegnon. He moves into the box now, away from Kovacic, onto his right foot, the shot is blocked. It's good work there from Sessegnon, great interception, lovely step inside, we're showing great footwork today. Sessegnon onto his unfavoured right, it's a good hit, Kante blocks with the face. De Jong, great header. Patterson, that's lovely interplay, Romero into De Jong, steps away, into Juan Brunetta here, looks for the chip, ah, should have just gone for it. Kepper had slightly sneaked off his line, so it felt like the right thing to do. Oh, Kluivert's won it back here. We're going at him here, early on. Kluivert's low ball in is blocked, come on, let's keep the pressure on. Gomez now, lovely cross-field ball into Patterson. He can push it down the line into Lutman. 
Low ball in, looking for Maxi Romero, and <laughs> it's three here. Jack Butlin can only watch on from the bench as a clerical error has meant he doesn't start this game. But it looks like Marcelo Bielsa has been let off for that just admin, <laughs> admin mistake. Scored three in the first half. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? Let's keep this going. Felipe Luiz, good ball in. Werner with the header back to Willian. Oh, shit. Let's, no, 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 no. No, this isn't, no. Should we put Butland on at half-time? Probably should, shouldn't we? Though, we need as many outfield subs as we can get at the moment. And that's half-time here at Ellen Road. We really didn't want to let them score that goal. Question is now, what do we do with Butland? Just, I'm clearly not back to match fitness. Because I've made a huge mistake not starting Jack Butland today. We're going to have tired legs at the end of this game. I'm going to just keep the ass man on. Just because we've got another game coming up very soon and we need to rest three outfield players. If this comes back to haunt me, then I'm going to be very sad. Plyvert now. Looking for options. Romero's made a good run. He'll lay it off here to Juan Brunetta. Nice turn of pace there. Romero into the box. Tight angle, Romagnoli. Huge challenge. Could fall here, but Kante can shove it away. But Brunetta's onto it. Oh, lovely footwork. Patterson out to Lutman. Puts the ball in. Cliver at the far post. No, and Fernandinho can clear. So an hour on the clock. Chelsea look riled up. Chidozi, that would have been a foul. Ball in looking for Willian. He's going to go back for the foul. A dangerous position here for Chelsea. If we concede again, it's going to be squeaky bum time for another half an hour. Willian now. It's a good ball. Kovacic with the header and the ass man fumbles it into his own net. Fuck. Right. No. But no. We should have put Butland on. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. I don't know what to do. Oh. Trouble. More trouble here as Willian is through. Gomez and Sessegnon commit the foul. No. It's surely not shooting distance. Although if I was Willian I would be going for goal now. He has gone for goal, but the ass man's across. No problems for him. He's made a save. We were vindicated. So I've wimped out. We've bought Unbutland. <laughs> Is it going to be too little too late, though? Why didn't we bring him on a half time? Why didn't we start him in the first place? So many questions. All of them valid. Can we hang on here, though? That's a lovely flick. And now Werner is played through. Where are you going, Chidozi? No! Oh, Butland. <laughs> That's what we wanted. That's why we wanted you back. Hobos now on the pitch. Nabry into Romero. Flicks it back over into the substitute. Lovely work. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. And the free signing for this season. He certainly repaid that zero pounds that we spent on him. He's come on here as a substitute. Romero's put a ball over the top. His fresh legs have allowed him to get ahead of Christensen. And that is very, very calm play to step back inside. Marcelo Bielsa. Dripping with sweat at this very moment after a key managerial decision. Gone very wrong at the beginning of this game. Looks like he's going to get away with it. His blushes are going to be spared. Final chance here for Chelsea, but it surely will only be a consolation as Werner steps inside. Butland dependable. And that is pretty much us done here. What a win that is. We needed that so badly. Thank God. <laughs> oh, I apologise to everyone watching this channel. I'm an absolute shambles at the moment, but at least we've got a win under our belts. Important win as well, just to get us back on track. That's what we needed. Maxi Romero with his goal-scoring best. Everyone played well, really. Pretty pleased with that. Pretty pleased. Well, will that see us in the league? That's the question. City winning. That's a Liverpool drawing. Is this up into sit? Yeah. I mean, we're only three points off third. That's a bonus. Goal difference is looking pretty good. we just got to relax. There's plenty of games left this season. Plenty of opportunities for us to crawl our way back up this league. Maybe now, though, Manchester City, too far away. They're yet to lose, yet to even draw a game. As dominant as ever, it's really just competing to finish up behind them in the league. Right, there we are. Well, we've got two big games in only four days in the next episode. At least we've got the win, though. We're back on track sort of see how we get on next time and then the Juve game and the episode after that hope it's not quite as embarrassing as today's I'll see you in a bit